ang uh, pinakasimula ng ating civic parade. Ito po'y pinakamulaan ang pagpasok dito sa Oval ng Victory Band. This band was established as May 27, 2018. And it is the 16th member of the Bacoor Marching Band Association and is composed of residents of Epifanio Gomez Street, Kainin, Bacoor, Cavite. The band was organized when some of the residents requested to have a marching band for a caracol devoted for our patron saint. Mga kaibigan, Victory Band!
This office is committed to ensuring continuing high quality professional development programs and population, responsible parenthood, and reproductive health. Ayan po mga kaibigan, ang City Population Office. Next is the Department of Education, Deped Pakoon. Formulates, implements, and coordinates policies, plans, programs, and projects in the areas of formal and non-formal basic education. It supervises all elementary and secondary education institutions including alternative learning system, both public and private, and provides for the establishment and maintenance of a complete, adequate, and integrated system of basic education relevant to the goals of national development. Deped Pakoor is headed by Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Bibeli Pampi. After po ng Deped, mga kaibigan, ay ang City Cemetery Office, headed by Mr. Juli Kiyocho. This office is primarily responsible in the provision of burial services and the implementation of programs to share the needs of Pakoor residents, especially the Siyempre, 28, 1989, nang itinatag ni Leopoldo F. Rubio ang bandang ito bilang pang-alaala sa kanyang yumaong kapatid na si Profesor Hilarion Rubio. Ang bandang ito ay binuo lamang ng dalawampung musikero na mga miyembro din ng banda anak sa pote, si Noel Baron, Eduardo Guevara, at Eduardo Guevara Jr. ang mga nangasiwa sa pagtuturo at pangangalap ng mga bagong kasapi ng banda. Formative Administration and E-Governance Sector, ang Public Employment Service Office, or PESO is a non-free charge in Mutaya, Employment Service Facility or uh, Entity Established on Accredited Pursuant to Republic Act No. 8750, otherwise known as the PESO Act of 1999, as amended by RA No. 10691. The office endeavors to help facilitate needs and other benefits for the OFW and at the same time sa ating mong mga manggagawang Pilipino Katuwa at Department of Labor and Employment and by virtue of Republic Act number 10160 otherwise known as the Charter of the City of Bacor headed by the City Legal Officer who shall formulate measures, develop plans and strategies investigate on the administrative cases map or review insurances or instruments recommended measure related to upholding the rule of It is currently headed by Attorney Marco Mendoza. Ang susunod po ay ang City Transformation Office headed by Reverend Philip Repatillo. This is under the Mayor's Office and is mandated to steer the program along with the National Forum. the attainment of a productive culture and a well-informed city. The CIO uses all forms of media for the improvement of the safety, welfare, and interests of the city and its residents. It is currently headed by Ms. Liza Blanca Flor, the City Information Office. Sunod naman po ang Our Lady of Pediatrics Band. Itinatag ito ni Ginoong Bernardito Nard Regondola at ang kanyang anak na si Ginoong Sherwin Regondola noong April 24, 2011 sa Molino, Bacoor. Itinatag nila ang bandang ito sa tulong ng kanilang mga estudyante na alumni ng St. Thomas More Brass Band. 
on Our Lady of the Beatrix Band. gustuhan na magtayo ng isang banda ng Mosiko sa kanilang baryo sa Panapaan noong Abril 1998. Sa determinadong pagtuturo ni Vizcara, ang mga kabataang miyembro ay agad ding natuto at ng lumaon ay unti-unti na silang nakaipon ng ilang pirasong instrumento. Dinagtagal, tumutugtog na sila sa mga Santa Cruz na nasutan pa na mga sumunod na pagtatanghal ang St. Michael's Symphonic Band. The Executive Department of the Philippine Government responsible for promoting peace and order, ensuring public safety, and strengthening local government capability aim towards the effective delivery of basic services to the citizenry. The ILG Bacoor is headed by Ms. Charmaine Lovins. So the Office of the Sangguniang Panlunsod, headed by SP Secretary Attorney Khalid Atega Jr. The office of the Sangguniang Panlunsod of the City of Papuor is the legislative branch of the city's local government guided by the principles of decentralization and the separation of powers which also oppose fiscal autonomy and authority to come up with local politics aimed at promoting the common good of all its constituents and endeavors to attain social justice in all phases of policy making. The Office of the Sangguniang Panlutsod. Next on, we have the Office of Congressman Brian Regilia. Since 2011, Aguila Tang Mas has been helping. ...legislative measures that will continuously uplift the way of life of the Makoreños. It serves as a policy-making body of the city government and assists the local chief executive in the efficient implementation of policies and programs adopted in line with the objectives of the national government. The Office of Vice Mayor Rowena Bautista Menchola. Any color parade? Ayang pangkapa ng inanalunsan ng Makor, the Office of Congresswoman Lani Mercado de Villa. Kalina Second God Congressional District is one of the eight congressional districts of the Philippines in the province of Cavite as they represented in the House of Representatives of the Philippines since 1987. The, the district consists of all barangays of the city of Bohor. It is currently represented in the 19th Congress by Congresswoman Nani Mercado de Villa. all the main 
various programs providing direction. And shout out nga pala kay uh, Angel Sandigan, <laughs> our CSO officer at syempre yung ating uh, Hello Secretariat ng SGLG. Hello po kay Ti Angie, <laughs> kay Ella. <laughs> Ayan. Next on our parade is the San Lorenzo Ruiz Band 2003 Incorporated. Noong taong uh, 1986, itinatag ang bandang ito na nagsimula bilang San Lorenzo Ruiz Drum and Lion. Itinatag ito ng Parochial Council ng San Lorenzo Ruiz Parish na matatagpuan sa Aniban 1 sa lungsod ng Bacoon. Nang dumating ang taong 1998, ipinagatiwala ng parokya ang banda kay Ginoong Robin Espanya kasama ang tulong ni Ginoong Jesse San Miguel. Nagpa siya si Ginoong Espanya na gawing marching band ang grupo kaya naman kalula, uh, kalaunay na kilala ito bilang San Lorenzo Ruiz Band ng Bacoon, Cavite. At ito naman po mga kaibigan na yun. In all healthy concerns of the local government being, it is also headed by Atoy Jensen Napa. At susunod na naman ang Office of the City Budget Officer. It is currently headed by Ms. Elvinia Guerrero. Among others, the City Budget Office Po ang Black Nazarene Banda 4. This was founded in Banalo on June 24, 2012. Four lovers of music and patrons of marching band, Mike Concona, Adel Arenas, Emilio Reyes, and Emerson Reyes organized the band with the goal of training musically inclined youth that serve as good alternatives for their leisure time. The band was named after the patron saint of Emilio Reyes and Emerson Reyes. Next up, we have the Honorable Charles Gawaran. Yan po ang Office of the City Accountant. Sunod naman po ang Business Permit and Licensing Department. This provides effective systems, procedures, and practices in the issuance of new and renewal business permits. It regulates the nature and the operations of different activities, monitors, and enforce existing laws, ordinances, policies, rules, and regulations in the operation of business within the city. Currently headed by Mr. Christian Gawara and Mr. Lawrence. It is currently headed by Mr. Christian Gawara and Attorney Jesse Salvador. So, sunod naman po mga kaibigan ang Family Band Association Incorporated. Oh, 
for zoning and land development department assures the implementation of various zoning policies and regulation of the city of Buffalo. The office is headed by Engineer Art San Jose. Sunod naman po ang office of the Noong October 21, 2002, itinatag ito na pinamunuan ni Ginoong Delphine Pantakan. Ang numero sa pangalan ng bandang ito ay nagmula sa bilang ng taong nagtatag nito na si Emil Anselmo, Reynaldo Baron, Ancho Tate, Alan Rafael, Jason Jose, John Ernest Guevara, Sonny Guevara, at Ronald Garcia. Security, Peace, and Order Sector. Unahin na po natin ang MAKOOR, Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office. This office is the department tasked to render and orchestrate disaster preparedness and mitigation activities as well as to spearhead the response operations in disaster stricken areas of the locality. Currently, by Mr. Richard P. Dion and Mr. Don.
Sunod po ang mga kaibigan ng Bureau of Fire Protection ng Pakuor. This is headed by Chief Inspector Alma Cassandra Cardoso. The Bureau of Fire Protection is the government body in the Philippines responsible for the provision of fire services. It is under the jurisdiction of the Philippine Department of the Interior and local government. Mga kaibigan ng Bureau of Fire Protection ng Pakuor. due to its remarkable achievements in various parades and concert competition held locally. Once again, Panda El Gobernador Association Incorporated. Ha, ha, ha. 
ni Mr. Denver De La Cruz at Mr. Yuki Garcia na yung pagpatuloy ng banda ang kanilang nasimulan noong sila ibahagi ng banda nyo hanggang hanggang may isang atumaran nila ang kanilang hangari at nahubukin ang mga batang nais matuto ng pagbomosiko Once again, The Nog Band 23 Hinalaw ang pangalan ng bata nito sa patroon ng barangay Panapahan sa East. Sila ay itinatag noong March 11, 2023 sa pamamahala ni Mr. Denver Ilas de la Cruz at Mr. Joel Tubong Banoa. Layunin ng bata nito na hikayatin ang mga kabataan na is matuto o matagdagan pa ang galing sa pagmumusiko. Muli po mga kaibigan, ang St. Martin de Porres Band 2022 mula sa panapaan sa East City of Bacoor. Sama po natin sa ating Lingap Incorporated Yan po ang SKF At ang mga tapasok po sa Oval Ang Anap sa Open Band Incorporated Ang mga tapasok po sa Oval Ang mga tapasok po sa Oval Ang mga tapasok po sa Oval Thank you. 